Hi, babies. Hello. Yes, this week, Kenna and I are going to be endeavoring to make three. One, two, three, three. Three, depending on what part of the world you're from. Dresses out of a lot of chiffon. Sorry, Kenna. For this first day, I'm going to be working on scaling up the pattern that we're gonna be using for two of the dresses. In order to try and simplify the sewing process, Abby decided to make two dresses from the same pattern. One is going to be made out of a mauve chiffon and velvet, while the other is made from the black chiffon with a red rose design. Abby caused Kenna a lot of confusion because she called the black dress the rose dress throughout the week, and Kenna insisted that this was confusing because rose and mauve are too similar in color, even though Abby was clearly referencing the rose flower and not rose the color. It's 11.42 and nothing has happened since the last time you guys saw me at like 8.38, 9 a.m. But that's not true. We now have fiber internet. My tree has yeeted itself into the backyard once again. So I don't think there's any damage. I think this just blew and fell, um, but that sassafras needs to go. It needs to go because it's it's gonna destroy the house. And I really shouldn't be standing here. But other than that, no work has been done. Um, to say I'm a little frazzled, stressed, displeased, fussy, whiny, like Subasa, it's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little whiny right now. I'm having a minor his, minor his fit and falling in it. It's fine. It's fine. While the fallen tree did provide a touch of foreshadowing for the week ahead, Abby and Kenna went on to begin cutting out and sizing up the pattern and attempting to quickly sew up a mock up. It didn't go quickly. Belt goes inside and then bottom layer. No, mid layer, tunic. No, it just goes on there. How long have we been working on this again? <laughs> All day. All afternoon. It's nine o'clock. Okay. Ooh, woo, woo. We've been working on this for a day and I still don't remember what it looks like. The mock up is not complete because half of the time has been spent reading, rereading, debating, nitpicking. Eating, crossing out instructions, crossing out, rewriting instructions, rereading the instructions, being like, what does this mean? Because literally they have two different items called belts and they're both labeled stay belts, but they're not the same. We have the bodice and then we have the over bodice. And sometimes the instructions say bodice, sometimes the instructions don't say bodice, sometimes. The, so basically there's like four items that look the same and have almost the same name but they're not the same. And so half the time we're just sitting here trying to figure out what the instructions are actually talking about. But I mean, she's cute. Look. And now Kenna is angry. She's got her fifis going. <laughs> this is the most emotive we'll ever see her. Pretty much when I'm like infuriated you're, by you're something. Just, you're just <laughs> bad now. You're just <laughs> angry. She's I want to conquer this pattern. Eleven seventeen on day two, and we're just now getting ready to fit this thing. The most confusing dress of all time. Better be worth it in the end, that's all I have to say. All right, we'll be grumpy. <laughs> Boobs proved a minor challenge, but hey, they're mushable. Okay, this is sitting really funky on the shoulders. Oh, this is so, like such a high waist that it's actually meant like going around your rib cage right now and not fitting at all. Oh, great. Perfect. Where we got like a solid two inch gap. So that's fun. Let's unpick the shoulders and see if we can drop it. And if we drop it, if it, if it fixes some of what's going on. So let's unpick the shoulders because obviously I have room for fucking days up there. Except for right at my arm's eye. Oh my god. After all the pain with the instructions, we 
really hoped we were getting a better deal with the fitting, but. Just want to take a little quick pause here to tell let you all know about the sponsor of this week's video, Birch Mattresses. If you are not familiar with Birch, I've been working with them now for over a year at this point, and they are a premium mattress in a box company that ensures that you will have a very comfy night sleep. And I don't know if you guys can tell, um, I can hear it at least, my number came up in, in the grand um, panini bingo that is the world that we live in, and so I've been spending the past week in bed a lot. Um, and let me tell you, I have been extremely grateful that I had a birch mattress because not only was it comfy, not only was it cozy, not only did it give me excellent back support, but with all that wool and its non-toxic materials, it had excellent air circulation, so I was able to kind of help keep my body temperature a little bit more regulated than if, say, I was using a different sort of uh, mattress. And as you guys know, I'm a huge proponent of wool. I'm a big believer in the wool industry. I really love wool as a material and as a fiber and as a, fat, a textile. Um, and so this the, having a mattress that is made out of natural materials like organic cotton, American steel, wool integrity, New Zealand wool, I, it's just great. I just, I freaking love it. And not only is it better for the environment to have to be sleeping on something that is made out of natural materials that will eventually biodegrade back into the world that, it, that we live in, but also also, it's just so much more comfortable to sleep on. It's so much nicer. Like, it's just so much nicer. So if you decide to give Birch Mattress a try, not only are you gonna get a Gold Guard GOTS certified, Fair Trade certified, Wool Integrity New Zealand certified, and Forest Steward Council certified mattress, um, you're also gonna get a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty because they wanna make sure that when you buy this mattress, you actually love it. So if you do buy this mattress and you don't love it, that's okay, you can return it free of charge, no problem. Now, so with all of that as well, if you do decide to give Birch a try, go ahead and use the code in my description below. That'll get you $400 off your mattress as well as two free EcoRest pillows. And those pillows are also made out of recycled water bottles. Also, if you are in the United States, you will get free shipping directly to your door. So you also don't have to deal with people. You don't have to go pick the mattress up yourself. All you gotta do is unpack it and then bam, Lily, bam. It's <laughs> You got a mattress, it's great. So with that, I wanna thank Birch Mattress again for sponsoring this video and remind you guys one more time, go ahead and use the link below in the description to get $400 off your Birch Mattress and those two free pillows. And with that, thanks again to Birch for sponsoring this video. All right, more discoveries have been had. We are tweaking everything right now and getting these, um, recutting this and working on the pattern, but the instructions and the pattern pieces and what's marked on the pattern pieces for this dress do not correlate. And we've been struggling with that this whole time, but genuinely it almost seems as if half of this garment was created with the idea of it being like completely center back or center front closing. And then the other half has been created with the idea of like half center back, half left, just really kind of chaotic and confusing where pieces that weren't making sense for this left closing thing now make sense if we apply it through a center front closing approach. Though frustrated and exhausted, Abby and Kenna finally understood what was incorrect about the pattern and its instructions. Once they were satisfied with the fitting adjustments on the mock-up, Abby set out to make the necessary adjustments to the paper pattern and began the process of cutting out the fashion fabric. Meanwhile, Kenna went off to rewrite the instructions from start to finish. It is 7.50 p.m. on the end of Tuesday. It literally has taken us two days to get the mock-up sorted for this damn dress. I have all of the bodice, bodice, over bodice, sleeves, cuffs, peplum, belts for the mauve version of this dress, or mauve, whatever, cut out. Kenna is currently basting the habitat and chiffon together because she loves me. What I am doing is I'm currently working now on cutting out the black version of this dress with this embroidered rose Carolina Herrera chiffon. It's been a very chaotic day. That's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that note, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so things that got done last night after Abby went to bed and then stayed on WhatsApp for the next two hours. Last seen at 11.50 p.m. Oh, that's because I was awake and then asleep and then awake and then asleep. <laughs> um, I'm reading. I could not go to sleep. So... Feel that. Uh, I acknowledged you. I wasn't pretty <laughs> in red. Oh, no, you weren't. I was just, like, looking, and I'm like, she was supposed to be in bed two hours ago. I was in bed. I was just last... laying there staring into the abyss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, got the other belt done. Okay. We have belt number one is in the mock-up still, so yeah. we'll have to harvest that. Um, and I did measure this. It is 32 inches. <laughs> <laughs> um, gathering, these are the two over bodices. Okay. Gathering has been run. I surged just the bottom of this one. That makes sense. Because I figured for our gathering that would make And it actually our held up to the surging. Wow. It did. It was, I had to kind of keep tension on it, but mm -hmm. it did. And then that lovely lady over there is our under bodice for the black mm -hmm. ensemble. And that, the fronts and backs entirely done, backs are tacked together. Yeah. And I ran the gathering stitches. Yeah. Um, and she it's all behaves surged. nicely when she's pressed. Yes, I had a, a delightful time basting and top stitching her. Took it like a beauty, so. Yeah, I have now cut out the skirts. The skirts, so in that happy taffeta. Oh. <laughs> and also the tunic in the- In the velvet. In the asshole velvet. Yeah, um, well my new instructions have mm -hmm. uh, starting with the belts and then immediately doing foundation skirt mm -hmm. and then going to under bodices. So actually so. if you want to put the foundation skirt together with that, then that, that will help us get closer to getting the, the mauve dress to fitting. I firmly believe that taffeta is the best fabric of all time. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Ooh, oh, I say that. This might be a uh, Kevlar taffeta. <laughs> taffeta. <laughs> Yikes. All right, we good? Mm -hmm. Subi, can you fucking not? Hey, we're trying to do ASMR. Hey, give. I will give this back to you in a moment. ASMR. Are right, you ready? Because we're using chiffon up here, I want to have chiffon over the foundation skirt. The foundation skirts are made out of taffeta, um, and I'm treating them like their foundation skirts, so I want another layer over top of them of chiffon. So for mauve, it's the mauve chiffon. For the rose, it's the rose chiffon. In order to have the chiffon over skirt, Abby had to pattern a new skirt piece entirely. This one was three times the size of the original pattern of the foundation skirt. <laughs> there we go. How we feeling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like I just ran the gamut of sewing projects when it comes to having to fuck off a big five yards worth of chiffon skirt. <laughs> On both ends. <laughs> On two ends. And what are you doing now? Seeing how ugly she looks. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Admiring my shitty job. No, also don't say that. <laughs> I don't know, this is like super low key, like mega, like 19 teens, like Disney cosplay. Like accidental Disney cosplay. Anyone? Anyone. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. I always had faith in you. 
Especially when you said you weren't going to do the five times. <laughs> that was when I had the most faith in you. <laughs> like, thank God, you psychopath. Yeah, I think this is a genuinely awful representation of what this dress is going to look like, no, but it's going to be great. Actually, completely <laughs> accurate. It's going to look that good. If you don't like this and you all don't know fashion, you don't know art. This is art. This is artisanal. This is artisanal. This is curated. <laughs> it's heavily <laughs> curated and artisanal. Because I am an artisanal person, okay? Can you not see the homemade jelly on my face? <laughs> I reek of pickles. Um, artisanal, y'all. <laughs> People be like, don't you mean artistic? Yeah! You know the joke now, though. Yeah, I do. Mm. I'm all knowing. Yeah. Well, you got like 10 master's degrees. <laughs> No, stop! My body and soul can't handle the weight of all these master's degrees. <laughs> I am so weighed down by my brilliance. <laughs> my extra large brain is just too heavy. Okay. I cannot. Oh, is it recording still? No, now it is. Uh -oh. This is a, an you're just like, angle. You're just like a dick to say, little baby. Yeah, I do. And Abby probably has more genius to share with the rest of the world. <laughs> I'm not the one with 20 masters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like the weight of like that knowledge. It's the it's the soul crushing like self loathing that happens when you do a master's degree. It's like you can't handle the emotional abuse yeah. and trauma of doing more than like a couple uh, higher ed experiences. That's really what it comes down to. At this point, I feel like I could probably sleep through a master's degree, but um. <laughs> <laughs> they get pretty much like from Squeak. Hands are relatively clean, okay. Step number one. Should probably stretch out before I do this, you know. I don't want to get like any sort of cramps. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go on, I'm listening. Yeah, like I'm intrigued. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> what other bitch ass shit do you want to do, Cox? <laughs> All your years of hand sewing have prepared you for this moment. Has it though? <sighs> Listen, I'm just trying to pump you up here. Who's the goodiest boy in England? Icliff, he's the goodiest boy in Incliff. Icliff, everybody loves a goody boy, Cliff. Is this procrastination? No, this is the musical interlude. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I can't hear you over the sounds of massive procrastination. <laughs> if I was procrastinating, I would be do giving you an entire song and dance routine. That's true. Which I have been known to do. You have. Abby got the underbodice all fixed up this morning, um, and I got the black chiffon overskirt all seamed up last night. Ooh, buttons. Oh, that's exciting. So yeah, so we're ready to actually start putting putting dresses together. Putting dresses together. Put the cuffs to the side for now. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be on mauve. I'm gonna be on black. Yeah. And we're going to be putting the under bodices together with the foundation skirts, mm -hmm. with the chiffon skirts, uh -huh. and for you with the tunic overskirt. Yes. Both dresses have the skirts, the foundation skirts, and the under bodices attached. The hem of that chiffon overskirt is a f***ing wreck. It is uneven as f Are we surprised? No. I mean, at least it's not fraying anymore. Kenna is currently gathering up the tunic to fit the waist size that it needs. I am procrastinating uh, stitching up the sleeves for the pink dress because we haven't even cut out the sleeves for the black dress, the weenus sleeves. 
But once the tunic's on, we're gonna put everything on and check the fit. Then we're gonna pin the over bodices into place so they can be stitched down. And then, literally, the only thing we have left to do is sleeves. Mm -hmm. And hems. And the chemisette. And the chemisette. Aren't you gonna look at our wonderful instruction sheet? Instead of having to Ow, remember everything. <laughs> Day six, it's been pretty chill so far. We have been working on moving the hooks and eyes, adding hooks and eyes, just making the adjustments that we saw were needed in the fitting. I was working on the sleeves for the mauve pink dress, but I'm taking a pause um, to work on the sleeves for the black dress as well as cut out the chemise that. Yoke in the collar, I need to remember that. Um, for the sleeves, they are going to be Venus sleeves. What do I mean by weenus? I mean they're gonna have a pronounced shape at the elbow with a tassel. Manta ray sleeves. Yes. Also they look also like really helpful. <laughs> also very helpful. Da, 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 da. We can only hope. Don't do that. Don't hurt yourself. I'm too old. Oh, What's wrong with you? Stop it. While Abby began to work on the aptly named Weena sleeves, Kana cut out the black chemisette and collar from the silk organza and black cotton bobinette. Okay, okay. So it is Sunday, I think this is day six seven for us maybe eight we started on monday so you guys probably watched at least me sort of struggle through the weenus sleeve kenna says there's not enough weenus i think that it's okay because it does what i want it to do and it flippy flappies it looks like a silly dinky little elbow <laughs> and you want full weenus abby put another inch on it um, yesterday and we did get to a, an okay spot but I ultimately am unhappy with it I want to at least try to completely redraft the sleeve just to see if I can make it fit better and so Abby began the several hours long process of patterning mocking up immediately becoming dissatisfied ripping off, cutting apart, and redrafting process until finally, after almost 10 sleeve iterations, she became satisfied with the perfect Weenus sleeve. Once the sleeve pattern was perfected, Abby and Kenna went on to make the finishing touches to the dresses, and they were able to manage two very quick photo shoots of the finished dresses in their final forms. Just get my feelings out. Ugh! That's not the first bit of ripping she's engaged in today. Yeah. Or the last. <laughs> that ass, yo. <laughs> that ass. Urgh! Okay. Good job. Urgh! Urgh!